All right, everyone, we are here. No introduction needed. Mr. Phil Helmuth is in the building and we're in his suite. We're at the Hard Rock playing a World Poker Tour. And how's it going? Great. You and I just had a nice dinner. It was cool to catch up. Yes, very yeah. nice. Been too long. Phil and I, known for many years, just a quick fact, we did, the one that stands out was the Olympics, 2012. 2012. <laughs> Unbelievable. In London, we were sharing a, we had a room there, and then my, my buddy Isle's house we went to, we did like the family experience in London, we had a great time, and Phil was very generous and even treated the opening ceremony. Oh, the opening yeah. ceremony man, in London. Was, I'll never forget that. That was, so that. That was beautiful. Fun. So thank oh. you very much for that. That was a, a you know. It was God, it was experience watching Mike yeah. swim and very know. good times, unbelievable <laughs> memories, and uh, here we are again. It's we haven't caught up in a bit, but we did have a nice lunch today. So uh, wanted to chat with you about a few things, but in particular, I want to get right into it, Mister Positivity. Phil Helmuth's new book. I'll let you what? tell us. What? I'm the poker brat. The what, poker, what you, right. I can't write a book called Positivity. Yeah. It's well, ridiculous. Tell us. Tell us what it is. What happened? What is it? What's it about? How How did it come about? And what is it about? All right. So since 2001, I've been wanting to write a book. I have this, I have these like eight methods that I use okay. in order to become the best poker player in the world, to win all these tournaments, to host television shows, yep. to write New York Times bestsellers, play poker like Pos the pro. Positivity. And so this is it. This book takes one hour to read. You can buy it for $8.88, the digital version, okay. only on Amazon. Amazon gave me a year exclusive. Okay. I'm so proud of this book. It takes an hour to read, fits in your back pocket. It's true, man. We're going to see it. I'll show you right now. Oh, let's, let's get it. Uh, boom. Simple. There you go. So it's, it's just it. so it's just, and so you know you look on the back of the book. I have a really nice, probably they can't read this, but I have a really nice we'll jacket put a, we'll blurb. Put a screenshot of it. Really nice jacket blurb from Cheryl Sandberg, uh, you know, who's an amazing woman. And then Tony Robbins gave me a really great quote. And then I put Draymond Green on here too. And uh, but this book is very simple. Chapter two: Take your life goals, write them down, and yeah. tape them on your bathroom mirror. You don't have to read that chapter. <laughs> chapter three, take your blessings, write them down, tape them on your bathroom mirror. Two of the chapters, boom, done. <clears throat> and you know, I find it to just to get up every day, brush your teeth, and spend a little time in front of that bathroom and to see, all right, this is what I want to achieve in life. Yeah. And this is the reasons I should leave the house happy. Yeah. Every day, it's just huge. And of course, the subtitle is, you're always in the right place at the right time. Now you you figured this out. You're kind of young to figure this out, but people don't understand this concept. Yeah. And I'll just say this about about it. Um, now that now there's three chapters, no one's going to buy the yeah, damn cool. book. Come on, slow down. Okay. It, it, honestly, I'll say this. I have not read it yet. Phil just uh, gave me one. I will read it. I have a day off today. You will be on day one B of the World Poker Tour. We're here at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. So. Phil is nice enough on the dinner break to uh, spend some time, talk about this. We just had a dinner ourselves and then you're gonna go register. But you know, it is a, a book, I haven't read it, so I will read it and then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it. Cause it, it what you Super said, exciting, this is people are, it's changing people's lives. Have you and seen, that's what it is, I've very goal oriented book. Yes, it's amazing to me. I mean, one of my friends gave it to his son who's a senior in high school and uh, he read it and he just, it just changed his life, boom. And it's amazing to me, people tweet me and they text me, your book changed my life. And you know, I, I will say this, that you're always in the right place at the right time mm -hmm. is an important concept and I'll talk about that quickly. Mm -hmm. You have person A who uh, is at dinner with his wife and kids and lays out the perfect idea for a sports bar. Okay. Then he says, Martha, his wife, please pass the peas. Martha, please pass the peas means I'm done with the idea. Ch -ch and the peas are passed to him and he eats, he's done. Okay. Same guy, same number of wife and kids, lays out the perfect idea for a sports bar. Okay. And rather than say, Martha, please pass the peas, he says, tomorrow after work, I'm gonna stop by my favorite sports bar. And you look at this book, it's about opening a door. You're always in the right place at the right time. He's opened that door. Mm -hmm. He's walked into the sports bar, any number of great things could happen to him. They're both in the right place, but one guy sees it, and the other guy just goes back to his life. Mm -hmm. When he walks through that door, you can see this JG, we've never talked about this, but there's four doors behind that. What, what's on the far left? Well, maybe the owner of the bar is ready to sell his bar. Yeah. Maybe the owner of the bar, door number two, is gonna tell you, I can help you with financing. Uh, maybe, maybe he's gonna say, I'll invest my own money in your bar. 
any number of great things can happen. Or if you look maybe at door number four or five, way over here on the right, it might be you have to work 60 hours a week to get this done, and the guy's like, okay, I'm gonna take that door, I'm done with this. But at least he's gone through looking for his dream and decided I didn't wanna do it, right. taking two doors. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes, so this is the difference. You at home, you're always in the right place at the right time. And I'm gonna sell millions of books because this book is filled with truth. That's awesome, and it is, it's very, it, you know, it doesn't look intimidating. It is something that, again, you said it could, an hour to read, but you, there are some stops, some points where you can actually interact, engage yeah, with it, and then maybe yeah. take an hour or two. I've already told three chapters. Here's a fourth chapter. <laughs> All right, Ned, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> yeah, it. fourth chapter, I'm gonna give the whole book away, is, you know, your life goals. Right. And so I, ch I talk about how I discovered the importance of life goals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I talk about the moment that it was important to me, and then I, and I, and then I kind of, you know, there's a call to action in the book. Sit down right now wherever you are, mm -hmm. on your iPhone wherever you are, and just write down your life goals. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so that's already uh, for the chapter. So it's very goal-oriented. And, and I haven't even mentioned my favorite chapter, which is a way to shed hate. But you're right, this okay. is it. Three-step process to get rid of hate. You have to buy the book to learn this one. Okay. And I will say, too, goal setting, it sounds very simple, and people talk about it I know it, it makes sense right yeah of course like oh I can write it down but some of the most successful people I know that was some of their that's what they literally do they hand write their stuff down you know whatever it is put on your mirror in the bathroom uh, under your pillow look at it once a day app on your iPhone put it in the notes like that's it's huge Send an they, email. You know, put it out there yeah put it in the, put in the universe but you know I think there's it's not just talking about like you said you have some sort of steps on what you do how you do it and check it out so guys uh, Phil Helmuth positivity make sure you pick it up and again Amazon the best way to get it yeah I mean the only way you can get this book is Amazon okay. so the book is like I wanted to charge sixteen dollars and eighty eight cents actually eighteen eighty eight but they lower the price they don't even let me know <laughs> they just automatically have a year deal with them I'm not gonna complain Amazon's a great partner I think the the ebook is eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Okay, and this you is, know, there's a lot of eights in this book. Eights are very lucky. So. Eight's a good number. Eight life tips. I like eight eighty-eight online, and I think you can also get the audio version for like six dollars, where I talk for seventy minutes, and then it also leads to philhelmuthpositivity.com, where I'm selling videos of each of the ones. So that's like twenty dollars. I'm selling some videos too. They, they seem to be doing okay, but that's I cool. think this is going to sell millions of copies. And you know, JG, I'm hoping if people remember me in 50 or 100 years, mm -hmm. it's hard to be remembered. Uh, but if I poker, man, poker's a, a timeless game. It's but if I'm remembered in 50 and 100 years, it'll be for this book, or probably most likely, and but I don't know. Hopefully for this book, but if not, maybe for having. 24 bracelets 24 there but you I only have 14 it. so far I like your chances You'll but what I talk out. about yearly goals life goals 24 bracelets so think big <laughs> I love it I'm definitely I'm literally my day off I was fortunate to bag chips on day 1a of this yeah, tournament nice we're job, here which is nice you made a great call by the way it was a good hand we I've got a video on that as well so we'll, yeah okay. that was a fun that was a fun hand but um give us a little bit uh, kind of segueing from this quickly on World Poker Tour. You know, if you guys, you know Phil Helmuth at home. If you don't, he does have 14 World Series of Poker bracelets that his first places. And I've actually, one of the things that impressed me about your career is I remember going on Hen and Mob and looking at your results and seeing all kinds of seconds and thirds. Like, if, you know, and that's like, it's kind of crazy because like you, you talk about winning's hard, but like that, I mean, you could easily, I mean, how many of those, how I many looked, seconds do you have? I you looked at like, from 2000 to 2003 and I had like 50 final tables in yeah. major events. So that I was like, is this for real? Because you forget until you right. go to Hen and Mob and look. Yeah, it's and then, insane. And then, I, because you, know, you just live your life, and I'm not as cocky as people think. I'm just, you know, I've been married 29 years, and my focus is on just living. Right. And then when you, and then when I make a final table, and they say, oh my God, this is my 54th final table at the WSOP, and I have 14 bracelets it's and disgusting. nine seconds and all this shit. Disgusting. I'm just like, wow, that's pretty cool. And my friends listening, right, who have known me forever, are like, oh, that's right, Phil's pretty good at poker. Right. That's an insane <laughs> record, but. Here, the one that has eluded you, you just took second in a World Poker Tour. I don't want to bring it up because you're here. It, what would it mean for you to win a World Poker Tour?
World Poker Tour event and how, how, how important is that to you to add to your list? I mean, it's basically, you know, those are the big tours, the EPTs now, Poker Stars, it's I guess the Poker Stars Championships or they're going back to EPT, but then yeah. I mean, really the series that have been around forever are the World Poker Tour and the World Series of Poker. So how, how important is that to you to, to lock Great home question. a first place? Those are the two top. You, I've always wanted WSOP bracelets, number one, and the 20, the, and the, the championship event for the World Poker Tour, but I've always wanted a WPT and I feel it's not far behind a bracelet, basically same level. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's frustrating that it's eluded me for so long. And I will say it's and such a good structure too. Like for you, you know, you like to be, you're patient, you know, you're not all in a lot. It's like nine unit levels on day three. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I gotta think it, it is a yeah. structure you, you like it, and favor. It relates back to this book because what my lifetime goals uh, are actually, I need to make sure I put WPTs on my lifetime goals, but on my yearly goals, every year, my list taped to my mirror mm -hmm. has win, I think, two WPTs. Okay. Every year, that's wow. my goal. Now, I've won zero so far, but I like to think big. But listen, I just finished second and 14th in the last three I played. The 14th, I was a little bit unlucky, right. but I also could have played better. That's on me. Right. And so I've seemed to kind of unlocked something. And so I need to, yeah, I have the best record of all time in No Limit Hold'em by far, 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 yeah. far. There's some great young kids that have four bracelets now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who I have a lot of respect for. For sure. Dom, what's his last name? He's, you know, uh, Dominic Nietzsche. Yeah, he's on fire. And then who's yeah. the young Spaniard? Uh, oh, uh, Adrian Mateo. Adrian Mateo. Yeah, those he's guys, dangerous. man. He's got three, three at like 22 or those something. Those guys have like three, four bracelets already. Yeah. Uh, and I have 12 and hold them, so they, I put a little number up for them to catch. Yeah, that's a nice lead. But it's time. And, uh, and I, and you know, it's easy to get thrown off for a little while. I don't mm -hmm. play enough events, but I know what I need to do to win. And, uh, and I flew all the way to Florida for this event. And I usually don't do that. Right. It's so I'm fight. here. I'm here to win. And uh, I'm also going, I haven't said it in public yet, but I'm trying to win World Poker Tour Player of the Year. I'm eighth on the list. Yeah. And, uh, but above that, just <laughs> one title, please, soon. Yeah. <laughs> you know? For sure. It's hard just to get. One. I have 12 hold'ems and 12 hold'em bracelets and a bunch of seconds. But right. I need to extend it. To, and I've had some bad luck in WPTs. I've lost some big flips to finish seventh. And you look at my record, I have a lot of top tens. Right. You just haven't quite put it together yet. Guys, look at this. We just busted the 10K6 Max, but we did find a World Series of Bracelet champion number 15. But let me see the side of that hat. <laughs> let me see. He put it on, clear intention, positivity. He put it on, he delivered. Tell us how, I mean, how does it feel after a fresh off literally last night? Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. The last night I went out, um, only had two drinks. It was a little AFib. I have battling this AFib relationship, and I can't drink too much, which is great. I'm not a huge drinker anyway. What is AFib? I'm not familiar with that. Ah, it's like where your heart beats kind of fast sometimes. Okay. It's, it's pretty, I mean, anybody over the age of 60, 30%, 40% of the people have it. It's not a big deal. It's not life threatening or anything, but right. you got to keep an eye on it. And the only times I've had it is when I was drinking and smoking, drinking and smoking a cigar. Right. <laughs> anyway, so the problem is you, uh, there's no problems, but. Um, when it comes to sleeping, when you win a bracelet, you just you're never gonna sleep well. So, right. fell asleep at like 6:30, woke up at noon, took a one-hour nap, um, and the beautiful thing is like that was two days to win this bracelet. So three days I wanted to play today right. because it was only two. I'm hopping in the horse tournament, and you know, so I have to basically last around five hours, and then tomorrow I'll have a lot more energy and I'll be a lot fresher. So. The goal is to, to last five hours, and my mind has already turned to the next event, which is important, but I'm not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> discounting number 15. It was an amazing day yesterday. And, Unbelievable. You know, I just it was never all in until we got down to three-handed, and then I got
got it all in a split, and then I got it all in with ace five against two kings. I had ten bigs and big. That white was magic. Ace. Sometimes you gotta have a little white magic. So, but yeah, guys, listen. We're gonna, Phil's already late registering this. He's fresh off a of brace, so we just want to say hello. Of course, we did the positivity uh, book. We gave those away. We already mailed those out. Phil signed those copies. Hey, Very. I Genesis. It helps, it possibly me out, but I kept my head up all summer and what happens right at the end. Boom, you know? got it done. Phil Helmuth, everybody. Again, Positivity, his new book is out and we'll see you later, Phil. Thanks, brother. Right, Phil Helmuth, boom.